What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out there building shit. Believing in your God-given hands, taking on projects, making progress in your own lives. Just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody that watches my channel. All my subscribers. I'm up to 1,976 right now. And for me, somebody that's been criticized, judged, put down, made fun of his entire life. Because I'm a little different. I'm an Aspie. I got Asperger's. I'm on the autism spectrum. So everybody that meets me knows that eh, he's a little odd. I don't like others to feel put down and worthless. So I tell everybody, believe in what God gave you. Take on projects, do things, build, fix, create. Because I know as I started fixing things and building things and, and doing projects that it built my self-esteem, my self-worth up. And that's what this channel is all about. Encouraging you guys to take on projects, build up your self-esteem, build up your self-worth. It's not about me or showing off what I do. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, you're into that sort of thing. Really does help out. And like I said, I'm, I'm right there underneath 2,000 subscribers. And it really mean a lot to me if I hit that mark. For those that follow the channel, you know that I'm in the process of moving out of an RV over here in western Washington. And I just bought two houses for dirt cheap over in eastern Washington. In this process of moving, I'm having to sell off a lot of stuff. One of the items that I just put up for sale is a 40 foot shipping container. Because it's just not worth the price to move it clear over there. I'll buy another one when I get there. So I threw it up on Marketplace and uh, had a few buyers come out and take a look. Found one buyer. He says, oh, I got a trailer. I'll haul it myself. Got a trailer? What kind of trailer do you got? It's just a flatbed deck over trailer. Flatbed deck over, like, does it tilt or anything so that you can pick this thing up? Nope, no tilt, just a plain old flatbed deck over, but it's about 45 foot. So has it got a, like a beaver tail or a dovetail in the back to uh, help this thing slide up on there? No, but I've I've hauled many containers in the past. I, I've got several of them at home and uh, I've done it before. Bing! Light bulb. <laughs> this guy's nuts. But it's going to be a good show. To follow is going to be a short tutorial how they did it. And I'm going to tell you this, I was quite impressed. Step number one, get the end of that container up high enough to get on the end of his trailer. And the end of his trailer was about 30 inches high off the ground. They brought two high lift jacks. And they started lifting the end of that container and then I got the idea, hey, wait, 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 wait. I've got a rollback tow truck. How about I chain to the end of it and pick it up for you? So I did the heavy lifting, got it picked up, and set it on jack stands. With it up on jack stands, we started backing his trailer under it. These removable guides in the stake pockets kept it from sliding sideways. At that point, we removed the jack stands, hooked up a winch with a snatch block, <laughs> backing the truck up and winching at the same time, got it all the way up on the trailer guys. Once up on that trailer, he strapped it down and hit the road. Alrighty guys, hit like if you enjoyed the little tutorial. It just goes to show, where there's a will, there's a way. Just believe in what God gave you. Till next time, keep building shit.